A busy day in UK politics. We have a new Prime Minister and a new cabinet, but the same old head of COP26, Alex Sharma, uh, is being kept on as head of COP26. That's pretty insulting. I would think he was hoping to be Foreign Secretary or Chancellor of the Exchequer, but instead he'd be doing COP26 for the next 37 years. Kathy Gingell, founder of the Indispensable Conservative Woman website, is here. What do you make of today, Kathy? Well, there are a few good sounding points, but deliver, deliver, deliver worried me. It suggested the culture wasn't changing at all. Here's the big government, the feckless, drunken driver father mm. that created the mess mm. in the first place is now sort of saying, we'll fix it all for you. And we'll probably go to a third bailout. You know, we have 500 yeah. billion for the economic crisis in whenever 2008. We had another 500 billion for um, lockdown. Mm. And now it's 100 billion and counting. You know, um, maybe she won't. She hasn't committed to it yet. But um, the first thing she has to do, if you said what I do in the first minute, she should fess up and say we've got it, had it wrong for the last 12 years plus. And we've been pushed into this by Labour. We've been appeasing them. We've done virtue signalling instead of virtue. And there has been nothing conservative about this government for, well, years. Yeah. 12 years. Yeah, she she should. Um, it sounds and deliver, deliver, deliver sounds like if the nanny state is only allowed to spend another 157 gazillion quid this time, it'll work. Exactly. I mean, I mean, they have to admit they've got it so seriously wrong. She cannot lord mm. Boris. If she wants to lead, she's got to lead. And she's got to do basically do a Mrs. Thatcher. She's got to take on the public sector unions. She's got to say, you in the public sector unions have had, what, a 24% increase in expenditure since 2019. What have we got to show for it? Broken Britain, nothing working. You can't get a doctor. The doctors do a three-day week. I mean, we've got a work shy culture. We've got a culture that basically says, I want to be looked after by the state. And she's got to say, no, sorry, the state can't look after you. We've been trying to do that too long. It, it cripples the private sector. Um, net zero again. It's not enough, Mark, to say it's got to go on hold. It has got to finish. It's counter to economic growth. She will not get economic growth while she has Ashok but Sharma doing it. It, it, it won't work. Yeah, no, the two you're... things are, are polar opposites. But we're in one of those situations, you know, that people have philosophical attitudes on the provision of health care and then they fall off the roof and break their back and suddenly it's not a philosophical discussion anymore. You need to be fixed. That's how people are with their energy bills right now. And the question is, when people are going to be totally screwed when those bills arrive in October, they're going to blame this government, aren't they? Well, I know, and that's the trouble, but I do think in the end it's honesty. Well, one thing she has to be honest about, we cannot afford a national health service that runs on a three-day week for its doctors. Doctors have to, she has to tell them they have to do a five-day week. If people, That's why people aren't getting appointments. That's why when somebody breaks their back, they can't get in, at least it's part of it. So she has to address people and say, we've got this very wrong. If we want to be the aspirational culture, you know, we, we, we've actually got to face up to a few things. She has to with her government, and actually the population probably does have to too. And on the energy bills, what if she's going to do this 100 billion price cap, then she's got to say, and this is where I'm saving the 100 billion, HS2 can go. No more diversity officers. The mm. Bank of England's got mm. to be given an instruction that it cannot push a green agenda, which is wrong on every front. First of all, it's fake. It doesn't do anything for the environment. Mm. And secondly, it's counter to growth. So this is time. If this tanker is to be turned around, it is a time that needs enormous honesty. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, I'm not but... holding out many hopes. She's better. She's saying some of the right things. Yes, uh, be strong and keep to them and understand it.
Yeah, let's be honest about how bad things are and what we need to do to change it. That's very important, Kathy. And that's why all this uh, online harms, Ofcom, Full Fact, Facebook, Twitter, social media, uh, big shut up has got to go too. That's going to do it because it's too serious a time to be operating within the shriveled constraints of social media.